Hi everybody, today is Friday, May 22nd, 2020. Make sure that you are checking Seesaw for different activities that you can do on there. Um, and then today we'll have a math lesson too. Okay, so I'm going to read chapter 5 in Ready Freddy. It's called, Is It Broken? The emergency room was full of people, even in the middle of the night. We had already been waiting there for an hour and my right arm was killing me. My mom was convinced that it was broken. When is it going to be our turn, Susie whined. My parents had to wake her up in the middle of the night to come to the hospital with us. Don't even start, Susie, my dad said. If anyone should be complaining, it's Freddie, my mom said, turning to me. Are you okay, baby? She had tied a blanket under my arm and around my neck like a sling to keep my arm from moving. It really hurts, mom, I said, sniffling. Can you wiggle your fingers like this, my dad asked, moving all his fingers up and down. No, I said, wincing in pain. Boy, his fingers are so swollen. They look like little sausages, Susie said. If they weren't so swollen, I'd give you a big knuckle sandwich right now, I said, glaring at her. Stop it right now, you two, my dad said, gritting his teeth. Just then, the nurse called my name, Freddie Thresher. Finally, I said, and sighed. Just follow me, please, she said. We followed her into an examining room where she took my blood pressure and carefully unwrapped my arm to get a better look. Dr. Carton will be here in a minute, she said as she left the room. A few minutes later, Dr. Carton came in. Well, hello there, cutie, she said. Let's take a look at that arm. Now tell me, how did this happen? I fell out of a tree, I answered. What were you doing in a tree in the middle of the night? Don't ask, my mom answered, rolling her eyes. Well, it certainly looks broken to me, but we're going to take an x-ray to be sure. Freddie and I will be back in a few minutes, she said, smiling. She put me in a wheelchair and wheeled me down to the x-ray room. She lifted me onto a bed and told me to stay real still. Then she left the room and I was alone in the dark. My stomach started to do flip-flops. This is the picture. I didn't know what was going to happen. I'd never had an x-ray before. All done, she said when she came back into the room a minute later. That's it, I asked. Yep, that's it. Is it broken? I asked nervously. It sure is. A nice clean break. Let's go tell your parents. Do we have to, I thought. When this was all over, I was going to get the biggest punishment of my life. She wheeled me back to the room where Susie and my parents were all anxiously waiting to hear the news. Is it broken, doctor? My dad asked. I'm afraid so. I knew it, my mom said. We'll have to put it in a cast. I suddenly felt sick. A cast, Susie said? You are so lucky, Freddie. Casts are so cool. All your friends can sign it, and you don't have to do homework for a whole month. Hey, Maybe breaking my arm wouldn't be so bad. I kind of like that part about not having to do homework. And here's the picture. Oh, Susie, don't be ridiculous, my mom said. Breaking your arm is not so lucky. Freddie, what color would you like your cast to be? Dr. Carton asked. I thought casts were white, my dad said. Not anymore, Dr. Carton said. Now they come in designer colors. Can I have blue-gray? Blue-gray? Why blue-gray, Dr. Carton asked, puzzled. Because that's my favorite color. It's the color of thresher sharks. You'll have to excuse him, my dad said. He's a shark freak. Oh, Dr. Karen said, smiling. Well, I don't have blue-gray, but I have a nice light blue color. How does that sound? Great, I said. By the time Dr. Carton got done setting my cast, it was almost 4 o'clock a.m. I had stayed up all night after all. And there's the picture. And that's the end of the chapter. So tomorrow, I'll read chapter 6. And then coming up, we'll have a math lesson. Okay, today we're going to have two math lessons. The first one is lesson three. 
So make sure you have your work pa workbook page out that looks like mine on the screen. This one is about circles. So if you look at the picture, we know that when fish blow bubbles, they, show, they blow bubbles in the shapes of circles. I'd like you to finish drawing the bubbles the fish blew. So take your pencil and finish drawing the bubbles or the circles. Then I'd like you to draw four more bubbles. So remember, bubbles are shaped like circles, so draw four more just like mine. Then I'd like you to think about how many sides and how many vertices do circles have? Do they have sides? They don't really have sides, so that would be zero. Do they have vertices or corners? No, they don't, so they, that would be zero too. So zero sides and zero vertices. Okay, let's go on. Circles are two-dimensional shapes. They are closed and round. They do not have sides and vertices. So they show you a picture of a circle. It has zero sides and zero vertices. So trace over the zeros with your pencil. Then it says, write how many sides and vertices. So number one, you have a circle. So a circle has zero sides and zero vertices. Write the zeros on the lines. Number two is a smaller circle. Again, it has zero sides and zero vertices. Number three, we have a ball. It has zero sides and zero vertices. And number four is a button. Again, it has zero sides and zero vertices. At the bottom it says talk math. What objects in your classroom are the shape of a circle? But since we're not in our classroom, I'd like you to look around home and talk to somebody at home about some objects that are in the shapes of circles. Okay, then number five, six, seven, and eight, you're going to write how many sides and vertices. So they're all circle shapes. So how many sides and how many vertices? Write them on the line. The next part says circle the objects that match the first shape. So look at the shape. It's a circle. Circle the objects that are shaped like a circle. In number 10, you're going to circle the closed shapes. So the ones that are all the way closed, they're connected. They don't have any openings. I want you to circle those. Okay, number 11 says, I am a closed two-dimensional shape that has no sides or vertices. Write the name of the shape. Draw a picture of the shape. So this is a two-dimensional shape, but it doesn't have any sides and it doesn't have any vertices. So write on the line, using words, the name of the shape, and then I want you to draw a picture of it. Okay, number 12 says, draw a picture of a two-dimensional shape. How many more sides and vertices does it have than a circle? So think of a shape that you can draw that has sides and vertices. And then I want you to, to write on the lines how many more sides it has and how many more vertices it has than a circle. Remember, circles don't have any sides or vertices. Okay, number 13 says, Mahid described this shape as a, as a two-dimensional shape with four sides. Mahid is wrong. Make it right. What is wrong about what Mahid said? Is that a two-dimensional shape? Does it have four sides? Write in words why what Mahid said was wrong. I want you to make it right. Okay, let's go on to lesson four. Lesson four is called Compare Shapes. Okay, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to draw some shapes 
on the left side, on the side that says four sides, I want you to draw some shapes that have four sides. Then on the other side it says less than four vertices. So I want you to draw shapes that have less than four vertices or four corners. These are some examples of shapes that you might draw. Okay, then on the next page it says you can compare and sort two-dimensional shapes. Circle the shapes that have straight sides. So the triangle has straight sides and the rectangle. Circle does not have sides. Then it says Circle the shapes with more than three vertices or more than three corners. So a square and a rectangle have four vertices, so you would circle those. A triangle only has three, so you wouldn't circle the triangle. Then the next part says, circle the shapes described. Number one says, oh, hold on. Number one says, shapes with four straight sides. So circle the shapes that have four straight sides. So a square, a rectangle, and another square all have four straight sides. So you would circle those. Number two says shapes with three vertices. So triangles have three vertices or three corners. So I want you to circle just the triangles. Circles don't have any, and this one has four vertices. So circle just the triangles. They're the only ones that have three vertices. Number three says shapes with four sides the same length. So a rectangle does not have sides that have all that are all the same length. They have two that are the same length and then two on these sides that are the same length. Squares have four sides that are all the same length. So I'd like you to circle the squares. A triangle only has three sides and a circle doesn't have any sides. So in this one you would only circle the squares. Number four says shapes with three sides and three vertices. So the shape has to have just three sides and three vertices. So a circle doesn't have any shape, any sides or vertices. This one has four sides and four vertices. A triangle does have three sides and three vertices, so you would circle this one and you would circle the other triangle, but a square has four sides and four vertices, so you would not circle the square. I'd like you to talk to somebody at home about the talk math at the bottom. It says, how do you compare two-dimensional shapes? Talk to somebody at home about that. Now, I'll read the directions, and then I just want you to do the work for 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So it says, circle the shapes described. Number 5 says, shapes with zero vertices. Circle the ones that have zero vertices or no vertices. Number six asks you to circle the shapes with four sides. So only circle the ones with four sides. Number seven says shapes with straight sides. So you're only going to circle the shapes that have four sides. Or that, sorry, that have straight sides. So circle the ones with straight sides. Number eight, shapes with zero vertices. Circle the ones that have zero vertices. Number nine, shapes with zero straight sides. So only the ones that have no straight sides. Number 10, shapes that are not curved. So only the ones that aren't curved. Okay, number 11. Madeline sees these objects at her school. How many of the objects have more than three sides? 
So one is circled, that's an example. We're not looking at the analog clock on that one. We're looking at the shape around the clock. So you're going to circle all the objects that have more than three sides. Now number 12 says, circle all of the same type of shapes and then explain. So I want you to circle only the shapes that are the same type. Okay, so you're, then you would write, these shapes are all what? Okay, or you could say, this shape is a blank. So there are certain shapes that are the same in this group, and there's one that's different. So you're either going to write these shapes are all what, and I want you to write the word, or you could say this shape is a, and I want you to write the word there. Okay, have a great day, everybody.